Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Sophistic. First of all, sorry, this video may only concern a few people on the world dealing with the optimization of cable state bridges. But it can also be interesting for you, if you like it, to think about engineering problems. Ok, let's start with the first example. We have a nice and simple bridge. We have only four cables and of course four targets. For the four targets u set equals zero, we have four scalable load cases. How to manage this on the final system, you can see in the example CSM20 Opti intro final stage. This example here is also on the example folder CSM.English optimize more Opti impossible targets one. Final stage means we always calculate on the final stage. We first make an estimate for the first run, <clears throat> then calculate the new scalable load case for the targets, and as we have usually a non-linear analysis, because we want to take into account the cable sacking, we have to make this optimization several times. So, this is our first run with the estimated pre-stress. We see the cable sagging and when we go to the next iteration optimization, we see here the cable sagging is increasing and increasing. So, there's something wrong. So, what you should do here, you should go one step back and first make a linear analysis. In the example, I used a define variable prop, that is here assist prop prop, and I just take this linear, move it up to here, and run everything, so we have now a linear optimization. The deformation targets are reached, but we get a compression in this cable. So this is because the first span is so long, and if we, of course, get a big deflection here, the next superstructure here would like to go up. And you can only push it down with a compression in the cable. But of course, in the nonlinear analysis, you cannot have a compression in a cable. So, this was the first example showing that with a nonlinear analysis, this is an impossible target. Now let's go to the second example. We have here a bridge where we have construction stages and want to optimize the deflection at traffic opening. So we have the targets who set equals zero, 20 targets, and for this we have 20 scalable load cases. But the load cases act in the construction stage and not on the final stage. How to do this? There is an example CSM20 Opti Intro Staged. And this example here has the name Impossible Targets to Staged. There are two YouTube videos for these problems. The first is Nonlinear Force Optimization, and the second is Cable Optimization with Deformation Targets. We start with the first estimated pre-stress, run through the whole construction stage analysis and store the load case of traffic opening to 80,000. This is done by equation iteration copy 80,000. Then the new scalable load cases can be analyzed. We go back, calculate the complete construction stage again, have a new result at 80,001. And now make a next optimization, scalable load cases, and rerun the whole system. If we would have a linear analysis, we would reach our targets already here. But as we have usually nonlinear cable sagging, we must make some iterations. When we run this, including cable sagging, we get here the first result with the estimated pre stress. Then the second optimization, oh, cable sacking, but then next optimization, oh, the cable sacking is increasing and we do not get equilibrium. Hey, Joe, can you help me? Okay, Jürgen, let's see what's the problem. Remember the first example? 
At first we have to make a linear run and look to the cable forces. We see we have two problems. First here at the pylon and then we have compression in the longest cable. Let's first look to this location. We see that all targets who set equals zero are reached because it is a linear analysis, but we see here a deformation of 29 millimeters. We can also see this animator who set equals zero perfect here, but we have a displacement and a settlement of the whole pylon and that causes the problem. Using U set equals zero, we enforce that this deformation is zero, but when the pylon gets a compression or a settlement, we see that the superstructure should behave like this. Okay, thanks Joe. Now I know what to do. I change my targets to this deformation at the pylon and say in midspan this is my new target. 29 millimeters and at the side span I make it with a linear approach. Now to the problem with the compression in the longest cable. This mainly comes from the additional dead load because when we first erect our bridge without additional dead load we come here a little bit too high. When we then insert the last segment and activate the dead load, we get this kink here in our system and therefore this cable causes compression because the program wants to push down this point. There are different possibilities to handle this problem. Here I used ballast. So before closing we insert a ballast. With this ballast we can get here a horizontal alignment then we insert our last segment and again remove the ballast. Here I get a new scalable load case for the ballast and for a new target I use the bending moment at this location at traffic opening to be a correct bending moment. In the animator it now looks like this. We insert new segments, next segment stressing and then we also have to use a ballast on side span to correct this here. Then we use a ballast in mid span and then we can close our last segment. Rem we're removing the ballast and adding additional dead load, traffic opening. And we see at traffic opening everything is straight and the cables including sagging look Perfect. And as a result also the bending moment look very good, a balanced bending moment. Again here this is the example Impossible Targets 2. Now how do you find this Joe? Oh yes, that really looks perfect. So thanks for listening and goodbye.